don't even know how to how to take all that in because you're my friend. And uh, I heard people get throat cancer from uh, blowing each other. Uh, yes. I never knew that you blew people with your butt. We got a new friendship, a different friendship. Yeah, we'll talk a little bit. All right. So the next guy that we have coming up is America's favorite old man. Everybody give it up for Arizona Lou. Yeah, Lou. Lou. Oh, Lou. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm glad that these folks came out. I wonder where they were when I was doing my old man routine. I would have loved to have you here for that, but not for that one. Is anybody here into yoga? Oh, yoga? I stretch. <laughs> and, and you're, what, what's your name? I'm Drew. Drew. Yeah. What do they, what do they call those uh, they poses or positions or thingies? Honestly, I don't know. But I just Yeah, I took my first yoga class when I was on my trip to the East Coast. And, well, I, I took the class for the view. Yeah. Come on, come on. Of the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> well, that didn't turn out too well. It turns out that the class was inside in the dark. Well, so much for that view. The, uh, the, do you have a favorite pose or position in your life? Doggy style. Doggy style. Right? Oh, oh, you're talking about yoga now. Oh, yeah, well, you don't know already. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right. No. I, I had one that I called it arms torture. Heather, the instructor, called it down dog. And we were expected to hold that thing until we were just shaken. At least I was. But you know that wasn't the only thing that I had to hold. I had a determined pesky methane bubble that was determined to reach the atmosphere. Now, for you young people or people that are not scientifically savvy, that's called a fart. Wow. Well, I was successful in holding it. Well, the methane bubble, not the not the down dog pose. At the end of each session, many times Heather would come around and while we were laying on her back, we'd massage her head with some kind of smelly stuff. I was just hoping that she she wouldn't mess up my hair. You're laughing like your hair's already messed up. <laughs> well, then later, I went to a class called Yoga by the Beach. And picture this gentleman and lady. Out there was the Atlantic Ocean. The only problem was things didn't work. That didn't turn out quite so well. Because between me and the ocean were all these young distractions in shapely spandex. Well, so much for that view. I wasn't the only person who was, had the trouble with uh, farts. During one of the classes, I heard, unbelievably, a methane bubble the under out of control, it, he was a minimal displacement, extended duration, high amplitude. Now, for you people who are young, are not very scientifically savvy, that means loud and long fart. I didn't know if I should laugh, if I should giggle, if I should hold my breath. But nobody did anything to act like it didn't even happen. So I learned something about yoga etiquette. <laughs> learned that you uh, just pretend some things don't exist. You need to know how to hold them. And I guess how to fold them too. 
on the sixth class, finally, we were asked to look at our name. Folks, that is the view. Look, you up on the internet, I'm Arizona Lou, and I'll be taking my seat now and looking for a view. Give it up for Mr. Arizona Lou. Lou, that that last fart joke, it wasn't about age. That was so technical. Albert Einstein's dead. He was like, what the fuck is this? I don't know what this is. I don't know this relative displacement. But I shit myself. <laughs>